Question 56, we have a square loop with sides capital L and a resistance capital R uh, in a uniform magnetic field capital B. That magnetic field is decreasing as a function of time where it's equal to A minus little b times T where little a and little b are both constants. And we're trying to figure out what is the current, the induced current in this, this square loop as a function of time. Looks like we're actually trying to figure out its direction as well. So we're going to start with two different equations. One is the equation that relates electric potential difference, current, and resistance. And the induced EMF is equal to the negative derivative of the magnetic flux as a function of time, otherwise known as Faraday's law. So we know the electric potential difference equals the current times the resistance, and we also know the induced EMF is equal to the negative derivative of magnetic flux as a function of time, or the negative derivative of BA cosine theta, the magnetic field times the area times the cosine of the angle between the magnetic field and the area vector. We plug in the equation for the magnetic field, which is little a minus little b times t, times the area, which is going to be capital L squared, times the cosine of theta. Now theta is the angle between the magnetic field and the area vector. We don't actually know at this point whether it's going to be 0 or 180 degrees, but I'm going to plug in 0 because it doesn't really matter. We're going to use Lenz's law to figure out the direction. We'll use Faraday's law to figure out the magnitude of the current. Cosine of zero is just one. L squared is a constant, so we can bring it out from the derivative, and now we just need to take the derivative of A minus BT. The derivative of A minus BT with respect to time just works out to be negative B. Multiplying negative B by negative L squared gives us BL squared. Solving for the current gives us... We get the current is equal to BL squared over R, the resistance. Now, you can see that the answer is either D or E. We figured out the magnitude, now we need the direction. So we turn to Lenz's law. We come back over here. According to Lenz's law, or electromagnetic inertia, there is an induced magnetic flux, an induced magnetic field, an induced current to try to keep the status quo. So, the magnetic field is out of the board and decreasing which means that the flux inside of here is out of the board and decreasing, which means the induced magnetic flux is going to be out of the board to try to keep that magnetic flux the same, which means the induced magnetic field is going to be out of the board, which means you take your right hand, you curl your fingers in the direction of the induced magnetic field, and your thumb points in the direction of the induced current, and so the induced current is going to be counterclockwise. The correct answer is E.